Hello and welcome to this Tableau for Sport video. This time we're going to look at creating a timeline. So often we have timeline of events and if it's in our uh, events list uh, we can then go and add events along a timeline so see when they happened within a game. So let me just show you an example. So I'm going to jump to Ravi Mysteries dashboard. Let me just bring it onto the screen here. So he created the following uh, World Cup dashboard so he created this for all of the matches so you can go and take a look but one of the things I wanted to take a look at was this timeline in the middle which I just realized I broke yeah so this timeline here in the middle so you can see he's got a, a shot timeline looking at the total shots taken in the game cumulative and then he's added in where the goals have been scored as well so I just want to look at how we would create this in uh, our own tableau. So we're going to use the 2019 Champions League final as we have been for most of these videos and we're going to create the following. Okay so in this case rather than total shots I'm going to use expected goals. So the line here is the expected goals along the way and then we have the goal scored at various different stages. Okay so that's what we're going to do here. So let me create a new sheet and I'm going to connect to a clean set of this data. So I'm starting from scratch. If you've been following the videos, again, your data might look slightly different. You might have some of these steps already done. But for those just picking this up new, I wanted to start from scratch. So let's go 2019. Okay, and you can see here I'm connected to two different sets of data, but I'm on my, my clean version. So this should be exactly as if you'd open the file today. Okay. So the first thing is I have to just check my data and I know that there's a couple of fields here that are, are tagged wrong. So minute, for example, has an ABC beside it, but this is really a whole number and it should be a measure. OK, now I can do a whole other video on, on why I know that and why this, but measures should really be your numeric fields. So they should be a green pill and, and making sure that you have that data in the right structure is, is an important step here. The other one is uh, expected goals, which is what we want to use. So again, expected goals has come in as a text field. Uh, this should be a decimal number. And again, it should be green. So I want to drag it in to be a measure. You can also right click and convert to dimension or measure. It'll swap those around. OK, so these give me my kind of first two fields that I want to work with. So let's start building. First one is minute. I'm going to drag it out. And again, I've shown this in other videos. When you drag a measure or a numeric field, a green pill out, Tableau wants to sum it or average it or, or do something like that. You don't always want to do that. I don't want to sum up every minute. So imagine that's a thousand events and it's summing up every single minute of the game. I just want this axis to be a list of the minutes. So instead of being a, a measure, sorry, it's going to be a dimension. So it's going to give me a list a unique list, I suppose, of every minute. So this should change to like zero to 90 or thereabouts. Yeah, so we've got injury time, obviously. So that's the first step that I'm looking at. Now I want to look at expected goals. Okay, so at each minute, it's summing up the expected goals. So minute one for the entire match, the sum of expected goals in the first minute was 0.76. And you can see there's kind of spikes along the way and it's tried to join, join up dots and whatever, which we'll, we'll fix now in a minute. But not every minute has a shot, so not every minute has an expected goal. So that's why the line is, is broken here. Now we do want to look at this per team. So I'm going to get my team name onto color. And let's just fix the colors so they're a little bit more intuitive. Let's go Tottenham green this time. Okay, and the way it's done in the example that Ravi built, so Ravi here, uh, built is that it's cumulative. So it's it's adding up. So I want to turn this into, instead of being the sum per minute, I wanted to accumulate. So I wanted to add. So let's, for this, we're going to create a table calculation, as it's called. So for now, I can use this quick table calculation running total. Running total. So it's saying add the expected goal value for each minute to whatever the previous was per team. So I'm getting a, a line per team. OK, so 
bump up the line a little bit there. So that, first of all, is, is looking quite good. Now what I want to do is I want to add a circle wherever the actual goals were scored. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this uh, sum, this, this expected goals pill here. So I'm going to hold control on my keyboard on a PC and drag across. And when I do that, when I get two green measures, I get three marks cards over here. And you can see I can control these now entirely separately. Okay, so one thing to note is whenever you drag on the measures, Tableau kind of automatically decides what chart type you use. It calls it a mark type, but in this case, it's a line. You can see it says automatic and it has the little line. I'm just going to force it to be a line. I don't, I don't want to change it, so I want to make sure that this top one here stays as a line. And my second one here, I'm going to force this to be a circle. Okay, I don't mind the all the circles we see here at the moment. But you can see what we're getting is the expected goals, running total, but instead of being a line, these are all circles, okay? Now, what I want to do is I really only want a big circle when there's a goal, okay? Now, what I find is a lot of people, when they're learning Tableau, um, they come along and they say, right, I'm only interested in goals. They tick goals and click OK, and now this happens. They want to filter just the bottom line and not the top line and things like that, and that's where you can get a little bit messy this is filtering out everything except goals you've lost tottenham but you've lost the granularity of the data so we kind of have to do it in a in a different way okay so what i'm going to do is create a calculated field and this is going to be called goal and i'm going to say if shot outcome equals goal then one else end okay so just saying if the outcome of a shot was a goal then I want to make a new column with the number one in it. Okay, and this just kind of flags for me when the goals were scored. So we can click OK to that. And again, I should have a new measure down here called goal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this goal onto the size. And in our calculation, what we have, what this is returning is basically if it's a goal, it'll return one. And if it's not, it returns null. Okay, so when I put it on size, Tableau is saying, right, we'll size the ones to really big and the nulls to really small. So you can see the circles are still there, but they're they're kind of tiny. Okay, uh, now I can readjust the size a little bit, but I've kind of got what I want here. All right, so now what I'll do is I want to put these dots on top of the lines. So I'm going to come up to the second green pill at the top dual axis puts them on the same axis and now i'm just going to right click and make sure you do this is to synchronize so the 1.2 on one axis should line up directly which it doesn't at the moment okay so it's not the default they don't synchronize by default so just make sure you add that in so now we can see how how that begins to look we've got a circle for when the goal was scored uh, hovering over and then we've got all and the the little circles are actually there yeah but they're just so small they, they blend in with the line all right and you can bump up maybe the size of the line a bit so you can play around with the visual of this so let's tidy this up so it looks more much more presentable okay so the first thing is i'm going to right click and i'm going to untick show header i don't need the second axis here and then let's tidy up the axis so i'm going to double click on that one I'm going to get rid of the title of it. We can leave everything else on that, I think is fine. This one down here, I'm going to get rid of the minute title as well. Uh, I'm going to fix the axis. So you see here, it automatically starts at minus five. I don't think that's necessary. You can't start a game at minus five, but I'm going to give it just a little bit of breathing room. So I'm going to make it minus one. So that gives me just a little bit. And we'll make the end automatic. Now, why would I make the end automatic? Is because the game could be longer. I don't want to fix an axis at 95 minutes and the following game's 97 again. So I'm going to fix the start, but leave the end be whatever the, the data says it is. Now, the tick marks I might change here to be every 15. Again, I think that's enough. Give people an indication. I do want to get rid of the grid lines. 
So I'm going to right click and format somewhere on the white space here. Go to my lines and get rid of the grid lines. I want to get rid of this dotted zero line here. So that's on the columns, zero lines, none. And I'll right click and hide this null indicator here. Okay, so it's looking pretty good, pretty clean. We go to maybe put the labels on the dots here. Okay, now again, this is where people can fall into traps. Let's go uh, player. And this is where things can start to break. So first of all, remember you're controlling the line and the dot separately. And you also have an all uh, marks card as well. Uh, but I tend to do it specifically. So I want to put the player name on the dots. So I drag player name to the label. And you can see now it adds every player name to every dot. And it's also broken. I have dots running up here and down here and everything's kind of broken a little bit. Now that's to do with the table calculation. And it would take a little bit more, a longer video to go into it. But I just want to show you quickly how you would fix that. Okay, so I'm going to go in and edit the table calculation. And the way this is working at the moment saying, what's my running sum of running total? So the running total of expected goals uh, per minute. But I need to add player name as well. Okay, so I want to make sure it includes player name, not the team name, because we've different two different lines, two different teams, but I do want the player name in there. Now that looks a little bit better. Brought back my header there. Um, now what I want to do <clears throat> is I only want to label the dots, but because I've got loads of other circles in here, it's labeled random points. Okay, so again, I'm going to create a calculated field and we'll call it goal label if shot outcome. Name equals goal, then return the player name. And again, end means it'll be null otherwise. Actually, I should have done this first because it's going to break again. So goal label. And it's broken here because I'm now computing this on something that doesn't exist. So goal label is actually what I want. So now that looks much cleaner. And let's just format that and put the label on top. Make sure it's centered. Uh, I might match the mark color so we know what team it is. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then one last change I might make is just I'm going to label the end of the lines here so that they have the total or the finishing expected goals numbers here. So the way I can do that is just control again, copy this pill onto the label of the line and see how ugly this looks. Go into the label box. I want to label the line ends, just the line end. Okay, so again, you can format this. Uh, let's make this bold 12 and again, match the mark color. Makes it easier to understand. And we could even go in now and format this to be a number with maybe one decimal point. Okay. Last few bits of formatting and these small bits of formatting I find do make a big difference. So I'm going to get rid of some of the uh, lines here. So I want to get rid of the row dividers. And the column dividers as well, I think. Okay, and then we can put in a title. So we'll put in a proper title. So we can say running. Expected goals. And... Um, Goals are circles. Goals. Okay, I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller. So we might make that a 12 and we'll make this nice and bold. Okay, so we now have a running total of expected goal. We can see the ebb and the flow of a game along with the actual goal scored. 
the player marked over it and that kind of stuff. You could tidy up the tooltips and a few other bits like that. But I think that's pretty close to what Ravi uh, was able to create here in his running shot timeline. We've done something similar here with the Champions League final 2019. Okay, thank you very much.